What up guys, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Another day, another install. Today, I'm gonna be installing the thing that I hate the most that my RC doesn't have, besides the power seats, but it's literally, it doesn't have home link, which I think every car should come standard with this. It sucks that this car doesn't have home link or anything that the Audi has, but I have to retrofit uh, the home link. And I got the OEM part, which is, I believe better than doing something aftermarket but it has this is the whole kit and it's also black a lot of people have like the gray headliner so most of it it's gray but this one is black and is directly from audi which is good um i never installed this before so let me just start off by looking at some videos and try to remove this trim but let me open this right now so here's what comes in the kit the actual physical buttons for the programming for their garage um, some foam, I believe this is seal it up, the actual home link module, and the harness. And they also have this piece here, which uh, holds this in place when you put it on the headliner. So it's kind of like a tight fit. But yeah, let me start by trying to get this off first. All right, so I was able to get this cover off like this. Um, I just used a trim tool, and I literally just poked it here. And this whole thing fell out, but got it off. And I believe I have to take this off. So let me try to do the same thing. So just real quick, there are these like two tabs here and the headliner is actually covering over it. So you can see it's covering over it. So I'm just pulling the headliner off when it's overlaying it and slowly pulling out. So hopefully this would work. All right, so once I got that off, I just pulled it off. There's these tabs that are holding it in and it's pretty much, there you go, on both sides, pretty much hanging from the wires now. So I can start installing We'll see if I can install the home link module, which I am gonna do on here. I think that's how Audi does it as OEM, and a lot of people do it here too, which I think is the best position. Um, here might be cool, but I don't know. Uh, I think this one will fit better. Just right here, it'll look a bit cleaner, so. Yeah, let me see how the wiring goes for this. All right, so from the looks of it, I believe I have these two clips, one of them is a male, one of them is a female. I believe it's this one back here. So I gotta plug uh, the male one inside there and then connect the one that is coming out of here into the new harness. And then this piece will connect to the actual home link module. So let me try that out and see if that works. All right, so finally got that connector out. Um, you see where the hole is inside that clip. You have to push that down in order to push this out. I just use a little small flathead, push that inside there, and just yank that out, and it finally came out. All right, so I connected the new harness into the existing connector, then I connected the one, the wire that came out of it inside the other dongle. And now I have these two wires. It says right here to use this side, so I'll use this one for the home link which would be connected to right here. It's just a four pin. So actually I plugged it in. I'm gonna see if I can actually um, use it. I'm just gonna get a flathead, push one of the buttons and try to program one of my current remotes and see if it actually works or not. So let's see. All right, so I just programmed one of them and it definitely works. The garage is opening and closing, which is good. So now I just gotta I think I have to cut this piece out in order to install the actual buttons. But yeah, so far, pretty easy. Um, I think the hard part is just cutting out the headliner, which I kind of don't want to do, but I'd rather have the home link. And I think it will look clean because this is an OEM install, so. All right, so to mark where I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna be using this trim piece right here. Um, it does follow the contour of the headliner, so I'm gonna use that and try to position it where I want it to. Um, right here is where it stops being uh, flat. It curves into kind of match this um, the sun visor. But the thing to note is that there is a plastic piece. Sorry, right there. I'm not sure you guys can see it. See that plastic piece? So I will have to make sure that um, I'm not cutting to the last degree because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be difficult to cut. So I gotta position it where. Um, cutting this inside here. So I'm gonna use a marker to highlight where I'm gonna cut. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use like a box cutter or an X-Acto knife just to cut that piece. And you only need to cut 
inside this piece. To slide this off, clip this one on, and it literally connects to the home link module. And that all will be housed into right here. So let me get my little marker and mark where I'm gonna cut. So I marked where I am about to cut. Kind of see it, but it's right there. So let me get my box cutter and start cutting out, you know? All right, so I just did my first cut and honestly, the material is very soft, so you can easily cut it with a box cutter. No need for a Dremel or anything. So yeah, let me start finishing this up. It's, it's a pretty soft material, so I can just cut fairly easy. First of cuts, um, I did cut it undersize of what I actually measured, just so that the fitment can be a bit tighter. And if I need to cut more, I cut more because it's better to undercut than to, to overcut. But yeah, got the piece out. There we go. Now let's try to fit it on. Oh, and also you can see that I did not touch the plastic, which is good. Uh, make sure you don't, uh, you cut where you're not hitting the plastic. All right, so it turns out that I did undercut it just a bit where I can't fit uh, this piece. So let me cut it a bit more so it can fit easier. Alrighty, I just got it on. I just had to slowly trim a little bit, test fit, cut more and then test fit again. Now it looks really good, OEM. And now let me put on that little uh, bracket piece on. So guys, one thing to note, I am having difficulties putting this on, but you can see this little recess right here. It's actually pretty smart, but they actually put that recess just for that plastic clip right there, just to clear it. So yeah, install it, uh, cut it where it's against the plastic because there you have this piece right here that is made for the plastic to clear it. But having troubles figuring it out. All right, guys, finally got the home link module in. Uh, make sure all the clips are um, aligned, all right? Because I had one folded and I was like struggling to get it in, but they should all clip in place. Um, fitment is pretty good. I have one small gap here, but that shouldn't bother me. I'm just trying to push it in as much as I can. But yeah, everything is good to go. Now, time to put everything back together. So yeah, putting it back, I just put these two pins in first and then the clips just really clip onto the actual uh, headliner. So but yeah, so far, just now I put the cover on. And there you have it. I have home link installed now. Just a small little gap right there, but it's fine. So let me start the car and see if the garage closes or not. Oh, see the garage closing. Nice. Success. So yeah, there is the home link install for the 8V, RS3, A3, or S3. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you're driving your dream car.